Hi, I'm Bob Humphrey with another tip. So this time around, we're going to talk about getting your tree stands ready for hunting season. Right now, it's the dog days of summer, and most people aren't even thinking about hunting season. Fall hunting seasons, for the most part, are still a long ways off. But that's actually why right now is a really good time to be getting your stands ready. You want to minimize your disturbance. You want to minimize your interference around those stands as much as possible. So the further in advance of hunting season you can do that, the better. You get in there, you do your work now, you get your shooting lanes cut, and then you let everything settle down for a month, two months, even three. Like I said, the more time between when you put your stands up and when you sit in them to hunt, the better. Okay, now if you leave your stands out all year, then certainly you want to check for uh, check your straps. Okay, this one's come off. I can look up there and I can see that it looks like the squirrels have, have chewed on that strap. So I'm going to have to recruit some help to get this one fixed. Um, safety at all times, by all means, safety first. Don't try to do these foolish things by yourself, especially with this one or the two-man ladder stand. I'm going to need at least one other person. I'm going to have my safety belt. I'm going to do it right. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to do it carefully. But I want to check these straps. I want to check my fastenings. I want to make sure that everything is in good working order so that when it comes to hunting season, I can come out, I can climb up in this thing, and I can feel safe and secure. We use mostly stands in my part of the world, but places like the southeast, uh, Texas, other parts of the country, they use shooting houses. Okay, those almost certainly stay out year-round, so you want to get out now and check those. Um, things get in there, insects, wasps, hornets. And if you have to go in there and you have to clean those out, you're going to want to spray. And you certainly, you don't, you don't want that odor of, of bug spray, of hornet spray, around your stand when it comes time to hunt. So get in there, get those things out now. Um, who knows, maybe a window broke and you've got, uh, I've, I've climbed into shooting houses before and found barn owl scat. I've found uh, scared turkey vultures out of shooting houses. So get in there now. Um, nesting season, for the most part, is over. So if those birds have been in there using your shooting houses, their home, uh, they're probably done. Get that cleaned out. Rodents, whatever, bats, get those, those things out now. Get it cleaned up. Get the odor out of there and have it ready for hunting season. Okay, so far I've been talking pretty much about existing stands and shooting houses, but now is also a good time to get out and put out new stands. Um, assuming that you've done your, your postseason scouting, maybe you saw some sign during the hunting season, you said, I want to put a stand there. You did some postseason scouting after the hunting season's over. You you went out this spring before things greened up. Uh, you found a few hot spots that you want to try, whatever the case may be. You want to get out there now. Again, get it out there ahead of time. Do all the disturbance that you have to do in advance of hunting season, particularly if you're going to clear shooting lanes. And that applies, again, to new stands or existing stands. You're going to have to do some cutting. Um, cut those branches now. Let the deer get used to it. And... If you cut big stuff, uh, saplings, that sort of thing, don't just toss it aside and, and leave it. You can use that stuff. You can pick those branches up and you can carry them and you can actually build a little natural fence to maybe make the deer go where you want to go. This is especially important if you're a bow hunter. It may be only a difference of maybe 10, 15 yards, but if you can make the deer turn, turn towards you instead of away from you, make them follow the path that you want them that will lead them with the with the right wind in your favor and into your shooting lane then you can make use of that stuff that you're cutting when you're clearing your shooting lanes and again do it ahead of time okay there are a lot of practical reasons why you want to do your tree stand work now but there are some maybe slightly impractical or or personal ones get it done now and then it's it's out of the way and you don't have to think about it so you can relax and you can enjoy the rest of the summer do your target shooting get your gear ready and then when it comes time to go everything else is ready go out there and hunt so that's about it for this time but please check back again soon and often with the <laughs>